Hello, and welcome to Spooky Tales with Boris Vincent. You may remember me from such movie classics as The Mummy with No Daddy. <laughs> Today I am pleased to begin a new series with you. A series I will call Spooky Tales by the Fireside. Each week I will welcome you here, by the fireplace in my haunted mansion, and tell you a spooky tale. Today's tale has a little something to do with fire. It's called the Tale of the Fiery Furnace. Our story begins long ago when three boys named... Excuse me, Mr. Vincent. What are you... Uh, pardon, friends. Just a moment. I need a word with my producer. What is it, Reed? What are you doing inside? Exactly. Uh, I'm telling a spooky story about a fire just as we discussed. <laughs> the fire's outside. It's a campfire, not an inside fire. Uh, what's that you said? Outside? Yes, outside. You want me to go outside in the cold, dark night? Mm -hmm. Please don't make me. I beg of you. You have to go. These are campfire stories, not spooky stories. You don't think it's spooky, three boys, being thrown into a fiery furnace? Well, a little bit. I don't want to go outside. It'll be like that one film I was in. The haunted campground. There were werewolves in that one. Werewolves! But Dad... Don't call me Dad. Not on the set, Reed. Sorry, um, Mr. Vincent. But you won't be going outside alone. I'll be going with you. You mean you'll go into the woods with me? Yes. To the Precise. campfire? Yep. Me and you. So you'll go into the woods like God was with the three boys in the fiery furnace? Mm-hmm. But don't ruin the ending. Ah, that <sighs> makes me feel better, Reed boy. Let's go. Let's do this. See you, kids. We'll see ya. Uh, Dad, one thing. Outside's that way.